Hi, I'm Johanna Bendel and I'm a medical oncologist with Sarah Cannon and Tennessee Oncology. I specialize in the treatment of patients with gastrointestinal cancers as well as patients on new drug clinical trials. I'm really happy today to be talking with you a little bit about colon cancer. March is colorectal cancer awareness month and I think it's very important that we think about this disease and we try to prevent this disease and for people who have colon cancer we try to treat it the best we can. Colon cancer is pretty common within the United States. About Oh, 150,000 people are diagnosed with colon cancer in the United States every year. And about 50,000 patients are going to die of colon cancer in the United States every year. So we have to do much better about catching it early and about treating it better. Colon cancer is about the third most common cause of cancer death within the United States. One thing we can say about colon cancer is it can be caught early with the use of colonoscopy, fecal occult blood tests, and sigmoidoscopies. For the average person who doesn't have a, a relative or a close relative with colon cancer, the average age you should start your screening is 50 years old. The screening consists of either a colonoscopy once every 5 to 10 years, or something called fecal occult blood testing where your doctor will give you cards to check your stool for blood with or without something called a flexible sigmoidoscopy. Using these mechanisms, we can actually catch colon cancers much earlier and be able to cure people who are diagnosed with colon cancer at an early stage. People who have relatives, and we call them first degree relatives, these are brothers or sisters, children, mothers or fathers who have colon cancer that are diagnosed before the age of 50 or sometimes even just around the age of 50. Patients with these relatives should have their colon cancer screening done a little bit earlier. Definitely check in with your primary care physician and make sure that they know about your family history of cancer to make sure that you get your screenings done at the appropriate time. The other thing we've seen is people need to have good levels of calcium and vitamin D in their diets. We've seen that levels of calcium and vitamin D in patients who have normal levels seem to have less of a chance of developing colon cancer. At the Mini Pearl, we have a nutritionist who can even help suggest good dietary options for you and help you pick the right foods that will give you the best chance at per perhaps preventing colon cancer in your body. Patients who have their colon cancer that it's not caught on colonoscopy or colon cancer screening can sometimes present with different types of symptoms including abdominal pain, bloating, changes in the caliber of the stool like a thinning of the stool, chronic diarrhea, or blood in the stool. If you have any of these symptoms that seem to be lasting, that's a good reason to go to your primary care physician to have them check you out. If you are diagnosed with colon cancer, the best chance at curing the colon cancer is surgery. Before you have surgery, doctors will check CAT scans on you to see if there is any spread of the colon cancer. Sometimes, even if there is spread of the colon cancer to other organs in the body, there is still sometimes possible chance of cure with surgery. Oftentimes, that's combined with chemotherapy. For patients who have rectal cancer diagnosis, which is a colon cancer in the lower part of the colon, sometimes radiation therapy is used as well to treat patients. The best thing you can do if you are diagnosed with colon cancer is to get to a specialist right away. A surgeon is always the good first person to see to see if this cancer might be able to be surgically removed. Patients who are diagnosed with colon cancer should also see a medical oncologist at some point. Sometimes you see the medical oncologist after your surgery and the medical oncologist is used to determine whether or not you might need some chemotherapy after your surgery to prevent the colon cancer from coming back. Sometimes you might see the medical oncologist earlier. If, for instance, if you might have cancer that is spread outside of the colon early. It's very scary to be diagnosed with cancer, but we want you to know that there's so many support systems out there, not only through your doctor, your doctor's office, the nurses, the research staff, but also through the Mini Pearl, through social workers and nutritionists. 